multi variable optimization now how do we calculate first order conditions and check whether the extreme points which are generated by first order conditions are indeed maxima or minima in case if you have a multiple variable function so for example this function now this is in terms of x and y as you could see so this z is the function of x and y this can't be written entirely in terms of x and entirely in terms of y now how do we calculate the optimal points for this kind of a function since this is in terms of x and y so what will you do is that you will try to calculate two partial derivatives in this case one with respect to x other with respect to y since this is in terms of x and y and you will put this equal to zero and these these two partial derivatives when they are set equal to zero they will generate uh, two equations and hence there will be two points for x and y so just see this that del z by del x in this case will give you 2x minus y plus 3 equals to 0 and del z by del y will give you minus x plus 2y equals to 0 now when these two equations they are set equals to 0 so from the second equation what you have is x is equal to 2y this is what you get from the second equation now if you substitute this x into y what will you get is in place of x you can write 2y minus y plus 3 equal to 0 this will give you 4y minus y plus 3 equal to 0 which will fetch you 3y plus 3 equal to 0 which will give you y equal to minus 1 okay now in case if y is equal to minus 1 you can substitute it back into x equals to 2y so x would be equal to 2 into minus 1 which is x equals to minus 2 well you can check this substituting it in, in any of these equations well you should be checking it in both equations but I'll check this for only one equation for you which is minus minus of minus 2 plus 2 into minus 1 will give you what this is 2 minus 2 equal to 0 hence these two points they are satisfying these two equations you should be checking this for this first equation also so the two critical points which you have got are x equals to minus 2 and y equal to minus 1 note that we are doing unconstrained optimization there is no constraint right now you are just given a function and you have to find out the optimal points for that now we have found out whether x is equal to minus 2 and y equals to minus 1 other points where first order conditions are satisfied. Now the point is how do we know whether these points are of max or min? First order conditions can't tell you that. So you need second order conditions in order to ascertain whether these points which you have found out they are indeed max or min. Now before than that you need to find out what is, ex what is actually the extreme value of x and how do you find it out? you will substitute this value these values of x and y into the function which you have so in place of x you will write minus 2 square minus minus 2 into minus 1 plus minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 2 so what will you have is 4 minus 2 plus 1 minus 6 so what you will have is 5 minus 8 which is equal to minus 3 so the extreme value of z when x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 1 you will have basically which is that that is equal to minus 3 now we'll find out how to calculate um, how to how to calculate second order condition in order to find out second order conditions you need to calculate something which is called the hessian matrix hessian is the matrix of second order partial derivatives as you could see so so you guys have calculated uh, in our earlier uh, part of the video del z by del x so what you'll have to do is that you'll have to calculate now del 2z by del x2 that is f11 you'll have to calculate del 2z by del x del y which is f12 you'll have to calculate del 2z by del y2 or del y del x 
which is F21 and you'll be calculating del 2z del y2 which is F22 okay this is what you have to do in order to find out the partial uh, your your second order partial derivatives for the 2 by 2 matrix now this is for the n by n matrix now how can it help in order of, uh, to find out whether the points are maxima or minima so here I've given you for 3 by 3 matrix this is the second order partial derivatives f11 is basically del 2 f by del by del 1 2 and so on so that's there f11 f12 f13 f21 f22 f23 f31 f32 f33 now you will calculate the principal minors okay so principal minors are you will calculate h1 which is just the determinant of the first one which is this h2 is basically determinant of this second one i'll just i'll just put it properly for you guys h11 is just this much okay h12 is this okay which is let me just write it for you guys, which is F11, F12, determinant of F11, F12, F21, F22, and H3 is, H3 is this entire determinant here in this case. Okay, so H3 would be F11, F12, F13, F21, F22, F23, F31, F32, F33. Okay, this determinant you will have to calculate. And these are the three principal minors, okay, for this 3 by 3 Hessian matrix. So, principal minors are that you will calculate all the minors on the principal axis or principal diagonal. Fine. Now, other thing which you'll have to which you'll have to see is, in case if the points are of maxima, then this should be the order of derivatives. Please note this very carefully. H one negative, H two positive, H three negative, and so on. It has to start with the negative H one this you will always keep in mind and all of this for are for maxima okay i'm not going into uh, intricate mathematical details about all this well you this is leading towards definite semi definite matrices and all since i have not introduced you right now so i'm not talking about them but i'm just giving you a tool how to actually find out maxima minima in case of multiple variable organize, uh, multiple variable optimization. So for maxima, this is the rule. For minima, what is the rule? For minima, you will have to have all of them positive. Okay, this is the rule for minima. Let me write it more properly for you guys. That is for maxima for maxima you will evaluate principal minors at in case if it is for 3 by 3 matrix that is x uh, x star y star z star say it is for 3 by 3 matrix and you have a function which is the function of uh, uh, x y z and you have calculated for certain conditions, you have calculated for certain conditions, and you've got the extreme points at x star, y star, z star. So you'll evaluate these principal minors at x star, y star, z star with, in case if for maxima, h1 should be less than zero, h2 greater than zero, h3 less than zero. Alternate signs, alternate signs, with h1 negative definitely with h1 negative and for minima 
you will again calculate these principal minus at x star y star z star and in case if you have the principal minus at like this this all of them positive then you will say these are these are the points of this this indeed is the point of minima okay now going back to our first order conditions which we have calculated so our first order conditions are 2x minus y plus 3 and minus x plus 2y equals to 0 so it is 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0 and this is minus x plus 2y equal to 0 okay so you can say this that this is basically del z by del x and this is del z by del y okay then del 2z by del x2 which is f11 is basically 2 del 2z by del x del y is minus 1 del 2z by del y del x now you'll see the next equation which is minus 1 and del 2z this was basically f12 this is f21 this is del y2 is 2 which is f22 so for since these are just two equations so you'll have a hessian matrix of 2 by 2 order which is 2 minus 1 minus 1 Okay, so this is the Hessian matrix which you have. So you will have how many principal minors? You'll have two principal minors. So the first principal minor is H1 equals to just 2, which is 2, which is greater than 0. H2 is this determinant, which is 2 minus 1 minus 1, 2, which is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 4 minus 1 4 minus plus 1 that is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 which is also greater than 0 so what you found out that h1 is greater than 0 h2 is also greater than 0 so this indeed is a point of minima as you have seen so x is equal to minus 1 I think it was x equals to minus 1 and uh, what else I don't remember exactly the points which you have calculated x equals to minus 2 and y equals to minus 1 I'm so sorry so you have x equals to minus 2 and y equals to minus 1 they are the point of minima so so this is the way you calculate the first order conditions and second order conditions in case of multivariable function.